Royal Guard Commander and Member of the Supreme Defence Council, the SDC, His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the royal trust of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on appointing him a member of the SDC and expressed his aspiration to meet His Majesty the King's expectations in performing this national duty to serve the country and its people. His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser stated that serving the country is his duty and that all his efforts will be focused towards protecting it and preserving its security and stability, expressing pride in serving His Majesty the King and following his approach. His Highness expressed hope of ongoing development in the SDC system to develop policies that defend the country and its regional and international interests according to well-studied methods. Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al Salah, met with the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mamnoon Hussain, in the framework of the Shura Council delegation's official visit to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan to further bilateral relations. President Hussain affirmed his country's pride in the distinguished relations in the relationship with the Kingdom of Bahrain, praising the development witnessed by the Kingdom in many fields. He thanked His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa for the construction of the nursing college in the Pakistani capital of Islamabad. He also called for strengthening cooperation in the fields of security and information exchange. President Hussain welcomed the Bahraini investments in Pakistan, especially in the sectors of energy development and infrastructure. He also thanked the Shura Council delegation for their appreciation of the role of the Pakistani community in the development and progress of Bahrain, expressing his hope that the Pakistani community will continue to play its positive role in the future. For his part, Al Saleh conveyed the greetings of the Bahraini leadership and to the People's Republic of Pakistan for their warm welcome and hospitality. Al Saleh went on to praise the parliamentary action in the, Republic, in the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the importance of pushing parliamentary relations between the two sides towards further cooperation and coordination through bilateral meetings. He also stressed the high level of coordination during international parliamentary forums between the parties on many important issues and positions to the benefit of the two countries and the two friendly peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, delegated Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid al Khalifa to attend a reception ceremony last night held by China's ambassador to Bahrain, Xi Zhenghong, to celebrate his country's National Day. Ministers, senior Bahraini officials, diplomats, and other prominent invitees were also present. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid conveyed His Royal Highness the Premier's greetings to the Chinese leadership and people, praising the existing bilateral relations and looking forward to further broadening cooperation to meet both sides' aspirations. The Chinese ambassador extended sincere appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his keenness on bolstering collaboration between the two countries. He pointed out the advanced level of relations and their breadth, lauding Bahrain's development in various areas. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al-Noemi, led Bahrain's delegation to the extraordinary meeting of the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization, Alexo, in Kuwait. Kuwait nominee Dr. Saud al-Harbi was elected as Alexo Director General for a four-year renewable term, taking over from the late Dr. Abdullah Hamid al-Mahrab, who passed away last May. Dr. al-Noemi paid homage to the late Alexo Director General hailing landmark achievements during his tenure, including the inauguration of the new headquarters and the launch of key programs and studies. The Tamkeen Sovereign Labour Fund announced the winners of the Bahrain Entrepreneurial Competition as part of the Technology Week organised by the Bahrain Economic Development Board under the directives of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Electronic Stadiums app developers won the first prize of 50,000 US dollars, along with a trip to the Lisbon Internet Summit in Portugal. The second prize was 20,000 US dollars. 
There were 40 entrepreneur applicants to the competition, 20 qualified startup projects and 6 projects in the process of development. This competition aims to strengthen the Kingdom's technology and communication services sector by uncovering pioneering ideas and honing the skills of qualified Bahrainis to meet the requirements of modern technology. Initially, Tim Keen is very committed to helping drive forward uh, the development of a very strong and uh, supportive environment uh, for innovation and entrepreneur entrepreneurship in the kingdom. Uh, this encompasses, of course, a number of areas and initiatives, including access to finance or training and development initiatives. But having uh, the world's uh, leading uh, com cloud computing provider will o opening up an office in Bahrain will definitely play a vital role in our support, which will provide an amazing amazing platform for startups and seed investors uh, to, to, to progress because it provides a very good platform for them to pitch in their ideas and uh, get the required support that they would require to expand their business. Bahrain joins forces with the world to commemorate World Heart Day and educate the public on the dangers of heart disease as well as ways to prevent it. The Mohammed bin Khalifa Cardiac Center launched an awareness campaign on the occasion at Bahrain City Center today. More details in this report with Dr. Mohamed al Shaban. Cardiovascular disease causes more deaths worldwide than any other disease. Thanks to a sedentary lifestyle brought about by the perks of modern-day comforts, a lack of adequate exercise and the spread of unhealthy eating habits, these diseases account for 54% of all annual deaths in our region. Awareness of the risk factors is key in fighting this global pandemic, and that's exactly what the Mohammed bin Khalifa Cardiac Center is aiming to achieve through its campaign. We have different stations, as you can see. Uh, from the registration decks, we will uh, register whoever come and walk today to the city center, and we will uh, start uh, passing the, uh, the visitors through uh, different stations. We will check a blood sugar, we will check the blood pressures, we will give uh, an educational talks about uh, uh, the nutritional status, uh, the dietitians, what should be taken, what should be avoided. The two-day campaign is comprised of several workstations open to the public where free medical tests are offered and a comprehensive analysis and consultation of risk factors are provided to help identify any risk factors and deal with them accordingly. It's very important because prevention is better than cure. And if we can identify some patients today that potentially are high risk of cardiac disease or cardiovascular disease or uh, hypertension, which can also lead to stroke, then we can um, take their blood pressure, we can check them, we can advise them, and we can send them on to a special um, doctor to uh, advise them what kind of medication they need to take. This year, the campaign focuses on women due to the false general notion that women, unlike men, are not susceptible to these diseases. We can actually identify a high risk that's modifiable then, and help the people modify their diet, their lifestyle to decrease the risk of heart disease and early mortality. I think it's a good thing and I, th I think the more awareness that they have of this, the um, better off the community will be. Visitors also expressed their gratitude for the high level of organization and were excited to be part of the campaign. Pledge to do more for your heart, a national initiative in line with global health policies to increase awareness of cardiovascular and non-communicable diseases and to do more to find them. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News.